Now I'm no sim rig racing connoisseur, but I have had a fair share of experiences. Believe it or not, I used to actually work at Rocket and Motor Speedway, which is now closed down unfortunately. Also had the learn to drift guys there in the car park. Then there was obviously the track days, the rally days. British touring cars used to be there quite a lot, but then it turned into more of a test track for cars, which actually then led to having sim rigs in the conference rooms to test out the track and learn it before going out in the real car. But overall, what I'm trying to say is I've been around racing for a while in my life and now actually in the position that I am, being one of the 10 creators for the Moser Content Creator Program, I'm honored to say I'm that one step closer to fulfilling that dream. No doubt, I'll probably be about 80 years old, still on the sim rig, crashing on the first corner. But anyway, I'm going on a massive tangent here. In today's video, we are testing and reviewing and setting up the Moser R5 bundle. This baby comes packed. Everything you need is inside the box, starting from the wheel, the pedals, and that's it. <laughs> and obviously the direct drive base, that, that's another main factor. Inside the box, you do get everything that you need to get set up and into your sim racing dream. But in this video, you might see that I've got the handbrake, the clutch, and the hate shifter. We're not gonna be talking about any of those today. Today is all about the R5 bundle and what it can do for you in your sim racing setup. Now, you're probably thinking, why the R5 bundle from Moser? Well, we're gonna go over the reasons why I'd say choosing this over any competitor on the market. So while you watch some nice B-roll and gameplay footage of the R5 in action, let's go over some of the specs. One being the affordability, because with the Moser R5 bundle, it is being one of the more budget-friendly direct drive setups at around the price point of $529. It is a great entry point into that sim racing space without having that high costs like most brands out there. The force feedback that the R5 provides is a 5.5 newton meters of torque, which for me personally is enough, and it's definitely a step up from those cheaper belt-driven systems, because with a direct drive motor, it delivers smooth, quiet, and detailed forced feedback that that enhances your immersion for when you're in game because you feel the rumble with every single groove in the road. Now, when it comes to the steering wheel, this is the ES wheel that's actually included within this bundle. Now, what you get is 22 buttons on the face here and a custom rev bar. Now, the buttons do have a nice tactile click to them, but the buttons themselves do feel more on the cheaper side, but you do get that metal shift plate on the back, which is a huge bonus because a lot of the times you get in the plastic shifters and they do tend to snap. Now, when it comes down to the pedals, the stock pedals are the SRP light pedals. Now for me, I'd probably say they're one of the weaker side of this bundle is the fact that because it's a spring mechanism, you're not getting a lot of force feedback from the pedals themselves. They are very light. You can tap them with your finger and it's, you know, straight to the floor. The only thing I can suggest is opting for that brake performance kit, which improves the braking feel with more of that realistic pressure and control. Definitely a recommendation on my behalf. Now the mounting options the bundle includes are the desk clamp, which is very easy setup. You basically just screw them underneath like most desk clamps and that's it, it's on. Now if you're like me and you go for a folding rig or say a coffee racer where you can actually mount this onto a plate, you're gonna get a lot more stability and also feedback is gonna feel 10 times better. Plus you don't get the shaking of the desk, which then makes the screens go all crazy. So I definitely do recommend if you are gonna use this bundle, try and upgrade to some sort of rig or even a folding rig. Now, when it comes to the software and the customization, the Pithouse software is in my eyes one of the best softwares I've used. It's very customizable, allowing, you know, force feedback customization, steering angles, pedal sensitivity with ease. And it also updates with new racing games. It's not like one of these softwares where you use it and again, again new game comes out and it just, it never updates and you're waiting for new profiles to come out so you can set it perfectly for that game. This is where Moser have taken my heart is when they are very quick with the updates on a new game or a new profile that just allows me to get in the game and set it up with ease instead of having to faff around with my own settings. They know what they're doing on that part. Now obviously with the Moser ecosystem, they have a crazy amount of add-ons and accessories. Because you can remove the faceplate of the wheel, you can change it for different styles. Because they're using that standard profile for any third party car steering wheel with the six pins in the middle, you can remove this completely and have just your own wheel on the base. You don't need to use the buttons if you don't want to. For me, I think the buttons help so many games out there. Obviously having like on a set of Corsa, you can have a pit button, turbo increase and decrease, ABS on and off, and all of that good stuff. Now for me personally, I've been using this, like I said, for about a month or so. The only things that I've found that are a bit of an issue is actually taking the wheel on and off. It's very, 
tight. I mean, that's a good thing in a sense, you know, it's showing that this thing is locked on, but it's very hard on your fingers to take it off. So if you want to take it off every night or whatever, just know you're going to have blisters on your fingers. I like how on the actual base themselves, they have an arrow. So you know, that's the way that you need to plug in the wheel. So that is a huge help for new beginners using this bundle. Like I said, with the pedals, yes, they are made of metal. They are good quality. It's just, they lack that functionality of feeling like a real pedal. Like I say, you can push it with your finger and it just feels like nothing's there unless you get that brake performance kit which gives it more of that heftiness to push back um and that sort of force in itself i will say this if you do go for this r5 bundle and you want to change the faceplate to the formula one or the 12 inch whatever make sure you take the wheel off of the base here and lay it flat on a surface because i've done this before and i've tried taking the wheel front off of here as i've pulled the last pin out everything's come off i mean completely detaches away from the front face plate and all the buttons and there's a cable inside that can easily be pulled away and snap so you have to be super careful make sure it's like flat and you just pull in off this piece here keeping this plastic on top of the boss kit here like it's all just going to spring out and you've got to then put it all back together that's the thing that i wish i'd known before doing it so now i'm telling you guys make sure you check yourself before you wreck yourself is what they say now obviously this is the budget friendly so there's going to be quirks there's going to be things that you are going to nitpick and say ah that could be better this could be better of course it could for the price point but then you'd be paying double the price right so for what you're paying for a full direct drive rig i mean you cannot grumble i'm i'm having the most amount of fun i've ever had drift or learning to drift and just feeling the roads the satisfying click that you get from the shifter the buttons they are very responsive you know i've not had actually any issue with this for the whole month i've used it now that's like i say only a month i've got six months of using this baby over the time of six months i can give you more and more in-depth feelings and personal experience with this so you can follow along the journey with me by hitting the subscribe button and notification bell but for me the r5 is a perfect gateway into anyone's sim rig journey and i wouldn't say this is any different to others out there this one just offers the best experience with again the face plates being able to be interchangeable the actual system itself coming off of the direct drive rig the power this thing's pushing out for such a small little block here as well now let's go over a little bit of the build quality with this r5 now because of the metal body it actually helps with dissipating the heat during long sessions and even though despite its smaller size it's durable enough for regular use so you're not going to have to spend an hour a day on this you can spend as long as you want while the r5 is a step down from the moza r9 in terms of power it holds up well against its rivals with offering that better force feedback and smoother performance overall experience despite minor drawbacks the r5 bundle provides excellent value for beginners or even intermediate sim racers obviously with its combinations of direct drive feedback expandability and ease of use makes it stand out in its price point so hopefully this review has given you a well-rounded perspective on the r5 bundle and why is a solid option for sim racers on a budget definitely on my behalf is recommended and i'm not saying that because you know i'm part of moza i'm saying that as a first time in-house sim rig driver actually owning one and you know using this of course like i said it's got its downfalls with like the buttons feeling cheaper the pedals not being the best but that's what you get for budget, but you're still getting a damn good product for that. So I will leave all of the things in the description that you need. There also might be an affiliate link or discount code down there, which is no extra cost to you, but obviously saves you some money and helps me out in the long run with a bit of commission if you go down the route of going for the R5 bundle or any product from Moza Racing. A huge thank you to Moza for sponsoring this video and sending out all the gear. I'm super excited to be a part of this program and dive deep into more of the Moza gear in the future and really give my thoughts and opinions on what they're doing in this space of sim rigs. Other than that, my name's been Callum. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a comment below what you think of the R5 bundle, if it's something that you're looking to get in yourself, or if you own it, what's the things that you love about it, and what's the things that you hate about it, or could be upgraded or changed. Let me know in the comments, and I hope you all have an amazing evening, morning, day, night, wherever you are. Capture, create, captivate, and I'll see you all in the next video.